Hey everybody, how's it going? My name's James, and today we're going to be covering how to stay alive longer in Call of Duty Ghosts. In this guide, I'll be showing you how to get lots of kills and even keep your kill streak without having to worry about dying nearly as much. I'm going to be going over the playstyles, classes, kill streaks, and even game modes to play to optimize your KD in Call of Duty Ghosts. Now, if you did enjoy the video, please make sure to support it by leaving a like and maybe even sharing it with a friend or two. And also, if you're new around here, make sure to subscribe for more daily GTA 5 and Call of Duty Ghosts videos, tips, and more. Now, Call of Duty Ghost has a very quick kill time. With that being said, you can easily die within just a second, which makes it very hard to stay alive. That, combined with some of the huge maps which encourage camping, overall make the game frustrating at times. Now, the first thing I want to talk about, and which is by far the most important, is the playstyle. Forget any playstyle used in any other Call of Duty. This is a new one. This is Call of Duty Ghosts, and you have to play differently. The best playstyle on the map is to keep outside of the map. Don't run in the middle. That's where everyone's going to be running. Keep outside of the map and flank and kill from behind, because if you're shooting people up front, chances are if they get the first shot, they're definitely going to kill you. So it's best to try and get encounters and get gunfights from the side and from behind people. Take things slow and get on high grounds. The best way to acquire your killstreaks fast is to get on high grounds and get above enemies. Getting first shot is truly key to winning gunfights in Call of Duty Ghosts and staying alive longer. Getting the high ground can easily give your player or team map control. Also party up with a friend or two, you guys can contain the high ground. I'm not saying camp, but I'm definitely not saying rush around. It definitely helps, especially on a new game, to play defensively and take things slow. All the new players are going to be running around clueless trying to get kills, they're so excited to play ghosts. You're going to be taking things slow and on the high ground and they're never going to know what hit them when they keep dying over and over again. Also, make sure to know where your enemies are at all times. Checking the minimap is truly going to help you. Use the minimap to your advantage. And if you keep checking the minimap and know where the enemies are, you can control the spawns. And using that from your high round map location, you can easily control the whole map with just one or two people. Checking the minimap is the best. Avoiding gun on gun gunfights in Call of Duty Ghosts is truly key to staying alive. Now that we know how to avoid gun on gun gunfights, you cannot always avoid that. And when you do get in one, the best thing to do is either jump or drop shot. If the player has somewhat bad aim, this can throw off their aim, and aim is truly key in Call of Duty Ghosts. Optimizing your aim to the sensitivity menu can truly help you out for the better. Field orders are also a great way to get kills. Field orders are new to Call of Duty Ghosts and players instantly rush towards the blue briefcase when they see it. If you kill an enemy who drops a briefcase and you know enemies are around, instead of instantly running to pick up the field order, play back a little bit and wait for the other team to blindly rush the suitcase to try and pick it up. You can easily pick off enemies trying to pick up the blue field order suitcase, getting you lots of kills and getting you to your kill streaks. The same can be done in game modes like Kill Confirmed. Staying back after you kill an enemy and waiting for other players to come and try and cancel the tags, you can easily pick off enemies trying to pick up tags. Last but not least, new players blindly rush. The best thing to do is stay back from crowded areas, but make sure to keep the crowded areas in sight, keep on the edges of them, and easily pick off enemies. The main action point for all these maps is always going to be the middle, especially because the new game is coming out, so it's best to stay back from the middle and stick to the edges of the map. Not only will you have your back covered, but you'll also be getting tons more easy kills from enemies running at the opposite direction from you. Now it is best to play objective modes if you'd like to get high kill streaks. You can easily control spawns in objective modes much more easier by sticking towards but not too far up by the enemy flag. There is more camping in game modes such as TDM, but TDM also has all of the noobs. Think about it. When you first played your first ever Call of Duty online match, you most likely played TDM, and that's the same for many, many people. And so TDM, if you are trying to find less experienced players, is the best game mode to play. But TDM combined up with the big maps can definitely encourage camping. So if you are going to play TDM, TDM, play it safe. Cranked is a great game mode, but it is so fast paced, you're also going to get a lot of deaths, but a lot of kills too, so if you're trying to get a high KD, Cranked is definitely not for you. Domination and Kill Confirmed are by far my favorite. Domination, you can easily control spawns, and Kill Confirmed, you can also pick up tags and camp tags waiting for enemies to come up towards them. Now the last of my playstyle tips is think of where the enemies are and what they're trying to do. Play defensive, especially when you're close to streaks, and remember, people are going to blindly rush their unserved the game to try and pick those players off. Last but not least, make sure to stick to a certain part of the map. Definitely find a part of the map that you're good at, master it, and play back and forth between spawns. That's the best way to easily get kill streaks and move from cover to cover. Now for classes, especially compared up with these big maps, submachine guns aren't going to work too well. Overall, the best gun type that seems to remain supreme in Call of Duty Ghosts happens to be assault rifles. Assault rifles seem to work the best for me overall, and pairing that up with the silencer can easily help you keep your flanking roll and move stealthily around the map without anybody knowing. The Remington R5 is by far one of my favorite assault rifles so far, it has a good rate of fire, you can easily unlock it early on, it has great damage and works well at a good range. 
Now for staying alive, support streaks are going to be your best bet. They're easy to get, and even if you do die, you'll still continue on to get your streak. They also help your team stay alive, which can help you get the win. Support streaks do in fact support your team in Call of Duty Ghosts, and by far one of the most used ones you get points for putting it down is the SATCOM. It's really easy to get, and it can show you where enemies are if there's enemies near you. You can easily get those kills by using the SATCOM. Also, if you see an enemy SATCOM, make sure to destroy it. You can also get points for destroying the enemy SATCOMs too. Now, if you are low on health like Call of Duty Ghosts is, you can instantly die in one to two shots. Ballistic vests are truly a lifesaver. You can put down ballistic vests. They're really easy to get. And also, when a teammate helps them, not only does it help your teammates stay alive, it gets you points too. Last but not least is the Oracle. This thing is really sick. Every few seconds after you call it in, it actually shows like a little bit of a pulse. And you can see all the enemies glowing in orange for just a few seconds actually between the wall. So there's enemies near you, under you, or behind the wall, anywhere near you. You can actually see those enemies running and easily pick off enemies or no and get the better jump on enemies when they're coming around the corner. This is it, my complete guide and how to stay alive longer in Call of Duty Ghosts and optimize your KD. Now if you enjoyed the video and it helped, please make sure to support it by leaving a like and maybe even sharing it with a friend or two. Also, if you're new around here, please make sure to subscribe for more daily GTA 5 and Call of Duty Ghosts videos. Last but not least, make sure to follow my Twitter and like my Facebook for exclusive giveaways, updates, tips, tricks, and more. That's all about it, and have a great day. Erectile dysfunction is bad, but leaving a like on the video isn't. Whether you're hard or soft, make sure to slap that like button and subscribe while you're at it.